quick look video here for you on the Built Alhambra. So I didn't know a whole lot about Built Guitars other than, you know, I've seen some of them online and I always thought they looked cool. Um, but I came across this one um, used um, for about half the price is what they're normally going for used. So it was a really good deal. So I went ahead and got it. So let's start at the top. Um, I really like the Built headstocks. I, um, just, just real big. Um, that being said, on this one, um, I think it's a little plain since it just has their B logo on the truss rod cover here. It doesn't have the normal built, you know, text logo. So I almost feel like it kind of needs something up there. But, um, you know, I do like the way it looks. So uh, this one's got Godo Magnum Lock Vintage Locking Tuners on it. Um, the height on those goes down so you don't need a tree, which is cool. I got a bone nut, uh, maple neck, rosewood fretboard. Um, the neck is bound and it's got real kind of thick, wide binding on it. Looks looks kind of cool, I think. Um, the fretwork on it is really, really nice. Um, the, the shape of the neck, it's got more shoulder, a lot more shoulder than I'm used to. Uh, the neck's got a good feel, but it, it, it's got some girth. It's got an alder body finished in the um, silver burst, as you can see. Um, Three-way switch, volume, volume, tone, tone. Uh, it's got Tone Pros locking hardware on it, which is cool. Uh, it's got Lawler Imperial Low Wind humbuckers in it. So really, really good set of pickups there. Um, another thing I'm, I, I don't really like is I don't like the El Hombre script here um, engraved on the pick guard. Um, I think, I don't know, I just don't really dig the way it looks, but um, I have seen some of these with normal pit guards, so I thought when I got it, I thought, ah, I'll just get another one. So I contacted Built. Um, they actually want 75 bucks just for a pit guard with nothing on it, which I think is just kind of outrageous. So I'm probably just going to have one made locally. So we'll give you some tones here. Uh, we'll do the same riff that we, that we normally do. Um, I'm on in a, a third power American Dreamer profile. Uh, so we'll start with the bridge I'm running here. Middle position.
that's a quick look video on the Build Hill Hombre. Um, not 100% sure I'm going to keep this one. I'm kind of leaning towards keeping it just because I got such a good deal on it. Um, but if I do, if I'm 100% sure I'm going to keep it, I am going to get somebody local probably or, or uh, somebody else besides Bill to make me a new pick guard for this. Um, I think they charge too much just for a replacement pick guard. That is fairly simple. Um, but like I said, I don't like the El Hombre text engraved on it. I just, I think it would look a lot better without that. But um, all in all, pretty cool guitar. Um, you know, great components. Um, you know, it's got orange drop caps in it, CTS, uh, you know, volume and tone pots. And um, yeah, good sounding guitar, good playing guitar. And like I said, I'm getting more into these kind of odd shaped guitars. Um, the only reason that I might not keep it is I, I've got a lot of guitars that do the two humbucker thing. Um, so that would be the main thing weighing, weighing on not keeping it. But like I said, I got such a good deal on it that I'm probably going to go ahead and keep it. But anyway, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.